Next question from Karen. How does sarcoidosis affect the stomach and appetite and what can help? Also, does excruciating pain relate to sarcoidosis? Thank you. Yeah, no. So those are very, very practical questions, you know. So number one, it all really depends upon where is your sarcoid. Now, okay, if you told me that, you know, appetite and sarcoid are directly related very commonly, the answer is no, not at all. You know what I mean? Where does sarcoid affect? Lung, lung, and more lung. And what does it do in the lung? Nothing. It just sits there and you shoot a chest x-ray and all of a sudden everyone's panicking. Oh my God, did you see what was on that x-ray? You're like, no, what was on there, you know? And so it's usually asymptomatic. Now, can sarcoid affect what's called the GI tract? Of course it does, but a very small amount. And it really doesn't like the stomach too much at all. So when I hear, you know, difficulty eating or swallowing or taste or appetite, I mean, there are so many things you need to do under the title of common things are common. And you got to put your healthcare provider on the spot and say, what makes you think it's going to be sarcoid, you know, and that's the hardest part. Now, medications could definitely cause that. You know, I mean, if you're on steroids, there's a lot of weight gain that, that occurs with it. Definitely sarcoid can affect your appetite. I mean, steroids can affect your appetite in different ways. You know, if you're on a lot of non steroidal medications, you may develop an ulcer secondary to being on them. So I think we need more information about appetite in itself. So, and so what was the next thing besides appetite? That was the question. There was one more thing. Uh, pain, excruciating pain. pain. Ooh, and, and you know, and once again, can sarcoid cause pain? Of course, I would be like a foolish doctor not to say it can. And it depends where it is. Is the sarcoid the granulomas on a nerve? Is it on some place that really can cause pain? Is it right up against the lung next to the pleura when you're breathing, it hurts? I mean, of course it can. Is it right on the bone in your spine? But the question now becomes, how do you know, doctor, that it's from the sarcoid? Is there imaging findings that indicate that? You mean, uh, are you working it up? So I think one of my favorite questions, you know, it, that I encourage my patients to ask is always, why? Why do you think that? Now, when I'm a doctor, sometimes I get a little scared. There's too many whys, but that's what you do need to ask. And it's not wrong if a doctor says, one of my favorite answers is, I don't know. I think I use the word I don't know quite often throughout the day. And I like to explain why I don't know, what are the options, will it change my management, what imaging is available or not available. But I think, you know, that's another thing when someone was talking about the first question we had, it goes back to communicating. Do you trust your doctor? Is he going to communicate? Is he going to refer me to someone who knows better? And I am just my personality. I think sarcoid is a rare disease and I am always you know, pro someone getting a second opinion or a third opinion. And even though I, most people come to me for those opinions, I definitely encourage, there's, trust me, there's a lot of smarter people than me out there. And I'll do the same thing if we don't come to an agreement just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I hope this answers your question because that was a good question. Great answer.